What is going on guys, Dizwaffa here, and welcome back to some more Slime Rancher 2 in Early Access. Now last time we left off, we actually made a few Largos out of all those slimes that we collected in the past couple episodes, including an Angler Batty Largo and a Ringtail Batty Largo, and even a Tabby Phosphor Largo, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, the reason why we did like Angler Ring or Angler Batty and then also Ringtail Batty is because uh, you guys commented suggestions and that was one that you guys really liked, as well as uh, there's a few other suggestions I want to try out and it is nighttime right now. It's, uh, it's about 1 a.m. So we do have time to go get another phosphor. Oh, perfect. Here we go. Uh, I did get a comment last episode and it was pretty intriguing. And I, I kind of want to see like what's actually going to happen whenever we do this. They said a phosphor ringtail. I guess we'll go to the uh, to the bat cave over there. <laughs> I guess that's just what I'll call it because that's where the baddie slimes are, right? But let's just go over there. Let's go grab a uh, ringtail plort. Feed it to this phosphor slime that we have right now. And then wait until morning time about... Uh, I think it turns to morning at 6 a.m., right? So a little bit less than five hours now, right? Uh, and then, yeah, before I started the episode, I did take care of these guys and gave them all food and whatnot. So there you go. We just need one ringtail port. Uh, and, and you can also see in my inventory, I have a bunch of briar hens because I do want to go back to the Ember Valley this episode and explore that area that we didn't explore last episode because that's definitely where we're going to find boom slimes, right? And I have a bunch of briar hens in my inventory, 23 of them, not quite 25. Uh, just in case we come across a boom lar or boom gordo and we'll be able to feed it 25 briar hens because that's his favorite food is the briar hen and he'll be able to explode it. Uh, but speaking of gordos, we also found a few gordos last episode, a tabby gordo and a crystal gordo as well as crystal slimes. You can see we have uh, crystal slimes in our image were right there. I did ask you guys, hey, what largo should we make out of the crystal slimes? And uh, you know what? I, I read some of you guys' suggestions and stuff. And I feel like I'm going to wait until we actually get boom slimes, just because I did see a few suggestions saying to get boom crystal slime largos. Uh, even though we did do that in the first game, I suppose we could do it in this one. It's just that I kind of want to like be a little bit more open to the to the new slimes and whatnot, right? As well as, yeah, man, we have transmissions over here we need to read too. I guess we could read that, but time isn't going to pass in the background while we're doing that. So I don't know, I guess I'll read it because we got a message from everyone except for Bob because we read that last episode. <laughs> I guess we'll just start out with Victor Humphreys. Let's see what he has to say. Beatrix, I have something I must share with you about the AI. As you know, we have been exchanging questions with one another. Well, this back and forth became faster and more casual over time, almost like natural conversation. Ooh, interesting. I assumed it was simply evolving and adapting to the style of talk it observed in me, but then something happened. Well, we had begun playing games of Go as we talked, a way I could further test its intellect and no doubt how it could test mine. These games would go long into the night, and so would our conversations, feeling more and more natural, even though I knew that the entity I was speaking to was just a complex collection of code. Now this is making me wonder, like, is this actually an AI? Is this perhaps a person on the other end of this? I don't know. Let's keep reading, see what else Victor has to say. And then one day, as the sun was rising, it suggested just one more game. I said certainly, but I needed to make myself a cup of coffee if I were to stay awake for it. And it replied, me too. I just stared at the screen, not knowing what to say. But then suddenly, as if it knew what it had just done, it disconnected. I have not heard from them since, but I hope I do. Yeah, maybe this, is, maybe this isn't actually a person, but maybe this AI has just become so smart and so convincing that, uh, what is it called, like the Turing test? It, I guess it passed the Turing test where a human's not able to differentiate the AI from a human. Uh, they think it's like perhaps another human. It's just that convincing. It's just that real. And I did play a game on my channel called the Turing test, and it had a pretty cool uh, story along those lines, if you guys are interested. It was actually kind of like Portal. Uh, but anyways, until then, I will wait staying busy with my work as always, asking those questions that need answers. But I will do so with the Go board ready for another game. Someday, anyway. Goodbye, Beatrix. I hope to talk again soon. Yeah, that was a pretty interesting uh, little, little message here from Victor. Let's see what Mochi Miles has to say now. B, I've been trying to get a hold of you. I've analyzed one of the drones you've been finding all over that island, and I know why it seems so familiar to me. It's mine. Or at least it's one that I've seen before, in my dreams anyway. After I looked at the scans I took of it, I knew it was familiar, so I began looking through some old slime science journals of mine. These journals are mostly future projects, but sometimes they're speculative technology. You know me, I'm always thinking six steps ahead to keep Mochi Tech on top of the industry. Well, sometimes I come up with the impossible, stuff that I may never engineer in my lifetime. 
Well, those drones you're finding are exactly that. Impossible with today's technology, and taken right from the pages of my journal. There's something I saw in a dream be. So, how did a bunch of impossible drones I designed in a dream find their way from the pages of my journal to Rainbow Island? Ooh, now that is intriguing. Dot dot dot. Maybe, maybe there's some kind of archive in them we can unlock to learn more. I know they contain data logs, but if it were me, well, I always know how to find a way of holding back what I need to. Okay, B, I need some time to think on this. I'll let you know if I come up with anything. Maybe I'll sleep on it. All right, yeah, interesting stuff there, yeah. I wonder what Ogden has to say, let's actually see. Ah, oh, lo siento, Beatrix. Ah, I've been putting in a few long nights reading lately. Specifically, I've been going through every field guide and botanical research paper I could dig up on the far, far range. I thought that even if the floor on Rainbow Island is unnatural, maybe it would have been recorded somewhere with some information we could use. And it turns out, there's nothing. I can't find a single mention of rainbow-hued flora anywhere, so that means whatever happened at that island to make it look the way it does happened relatively recently. But I don't think you needed me to tell you this, because I think you've seen it yourself. The things you've described, an entire portion of the island split between two different colors right down the middle? That says accident to me, Beatrix. So tread carefully out there. Nature can be be a dangerous <laughs> thing to us, but it pales in comparison to what we can do to it. Yeah, I need to see how to like report bugs and stuff like that because they've got a. I've, I've noticed a few typos so far. Uh, it says B twice right there. I'm going to keep digging around my library for anything else that could help you. And if I come up short there, maybe I'll just bake you some muffins. Hey, either way, te tango, Beatrix. Adios. All right. And we have one more from Laura West. Let's see what she has to say. Hiya, B. How's life out there on Rainbow Island? Gosh, it's even fun to say. Must be a hoot. You know, ever since I heard you were off doing something new, I got the thinking of my own life and what's the next new for me. Hobson and I have both seen and done so much in our lives. Been one adventure after another across this dusty rock, and ever since we've become acquainted, we haven't slowed down one bit. So, we're looking to take a new adventure, together, but we just haven't figured out what or where. Maybe we'll go exploring some hidden nook on the far, far range like you, or even set our sights to the stars like Hobson had done before. Whatever we decide to do, it'll all be the more special because we'll be sharing it this time with each other. It's that part that makes it all the more exciting. It's so hard to find someone in this world that fits you completely. Such a rare thing, like finding two identical snowflakes in a desert. I know you feel that more than I could say. I ain't ever losing sight of just how lucky I am, B. I just want to use the gifts the universe has seen fit to give me. Dot dot dot. You keep your head up, girl. We'll chat again soon. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cute there. I wonder if they're ever going to explore the, uh, the Rainbow Island over here, and yep. Looks like we're caught up on everyone there, you guys. Cool. And yeah, time. Oh, jeez. Whoops. Accidentally just went into the teleport right there to the uh, Starlight Strand. Oopsie doopsie. Actually, yeah, while I'm here. Oh, yeah, I don't have any inventory space right now, unfortunately, man. Uh, but I might as well try and get some inventory space back by doing. What was it? I was going to do. Wait, what in the world? Where am I? Oh, yeah, we need to use the, uh, the other teleporter. Yeah. Hold on. Let's go through this and then go. Yeah, here we go. This right here. And then this takes us back to the uh, conservatory. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. But yeah, we have a baddie slime in our inventory. I do want to check out one more thing, such as baddie phosphor. So I suppose what we could do is like we have a phosphor in our inventory right now, but we also have a baddie. I guess we'll get, yeah, let's go get a uh, phosphor port over here and then feed it to a baddie slime. And then we can see what it looks like. Cause some of you guys were either curious what it looked like or already knew what it looked like and it looked really cool. So I'm very curious about it as well. Okay, so I guess I'll put ringtail at least. Oh yeah, we could put uh, ringtail over here because this guy's a ringtail, yeah. It'll get suctioned up into there. Perfect, okay, cool. So let's just grab a uh, phosphor from this. And it is nighttime, so it's going to be alive, which is good. But I just want to see what it looks like. So there's baddie and then here's phos- Oh, whoops, man, you didn't eat it. Oh yeah, that does look, ah. Uh if anything, it kind of just looks like a bigger phosphor. Like the wings are the same as the phosphor, the uh, antenna there. I guess the, the ears, yeah, the ears are kind of batty slime looking. That's pretty, and, and yeah, the, the teeth there too, yeah. Huh, yeah, it actually is pretty cool, I like that. 
as compared to the uh, tabby boss for Largus over here. Of course, they're all nice and fed. They're all smiling over there. This guy does look pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, well, let, let me just grab this guy. He's, he's very hungry. Uh, let me just throw this tabby ringtail off into the slime sea. <laughs> just so we don't get any unnecessary tars over here, right? So, whoop, there you go. Oh, whoops. Mid, throw, throw him into the slime. Whoop, there you go. <laughs> oh, wow, is that the volcano? I think that is all the way there in the background. Interesting. Yeah, also last episode. I think it was last episode, right? We saw a few locations where it looks like they could have like expansions like over here. Looks like there was there looked like there was a teleport to a possible new area over here. I wonder if that's going to happen later in early access as well as yeah, this uh, Tabby Largo over here or Gordo was on top of what looked like a teleport as well. So that's pretty cool. There you guys. But it is uh, 5 a.m. I think 6 a.m. is whenever it technically turns to daytime, right? So I suppose what we could do right now is get the Phosphor Slime and then Ringtail. Feed that to you. Oh, don't don't make don't, I don't want the Largo to accidentally eat that and turn into a tar. But let's uh, there you go. OK, there you go. So that's what Phosphor Ringtail looks like. And it's almost 6 a.m. And I think it's going to technically turn to daytime during that. I'm curious and you guys are curious. Is this guy going to poof into thin air like a Phosphor Slime or is he going to turn into a statue like the Ringtail Slime? Let's see, because there's like two like competing things that could happen with this. So here's which one would happen. I wonder if it's random, like sometimes I'll turn into a statue, sometimes I'll poof. I don't know. Let's see. So it's daytime right now, 6 a.m. Oh, it turns into a statue. I thought he would have poofed. Although, like I just said, I wonder if it's like a, a random thing, like sometimes they would poof, sometimes they turn into a statue. And then, yeah, if I take this guy out, because he is half phosphor, is he going to poof? Or is he going to be fine because he's half batty? Let's see. Let's give it a few seconds. I assume he's fine because I think Phosphor, um, oh, he just got like flashed by these guys, these angular slimes over here and he just ate. Wait, what? Did he eat something right there? He ate something and then like poofed. Huh. So I guess he did die. I thought, uh, pink Phosphor slime survived during the daytime. I guess not. As well as, yeah, last episode, we unlocked the tide pools over there and that's why we have the pond slimes over there, which is awesome as well as we got rid of the old pond for the uh, puddle slimes. And we made a, another coop over here, which is pretty cool. And I just emptied out a bunch of uh, briar hens out here, I'm sure. Yeah, here's another one. Then, there a bunch more. Yeah, there's another one right there. Okay, cool. And yep, there's another one right there. That's fine. And I think, is there another one there? I don't know. We might just have one briar hen left over here, unfortunately. But at least we have 20 of them, or 25 of them. Uh, we have crystal slimes. Maybe I can put these guys in here temporarily. There you go. Okay, cool. And then uh, this guy, I, I guess I'll just throw into the slime sea. <laughs> just so we don't accidentally make any uh, tars and stuff, right? But the crystal slimes, I don't think we need to worry about them uh, having sunlight and stuff. Uh, but they do like odd onions, so I suppose what I could do is uh, put some odd onions over here. As well as, yeah, we need odd onions for their uh, Gordo that we saw. So we could actually, uh, do we have an auto feeder here? Yes, we do. Okay, cool. So I guess I'll put a, uh, some odd onions in there and feed them while I'm gone. And this extra baddie slime, I don't know, we might just throw them into the slime sea as well. <laughs> Oh yeah, we have 97 odd onions, you guys. That's amazing. Yeah, let's grab at least 25 for that Gordo. Let's grab another, I'd say, how many slime, how many crystals? I guess we'll grab all 40, there you go, that I could carry. And we could put uh, 15 inside their auto feeder, which will be good while we're gone. And then the other 25 we'll put in the uh, Gordo. And then I guess I'll throw that extra baddie slime to the slime sea or something. Here we go, we got some odd onions right there. I guess I'll put like 10 up in there and then I'll feed five of them in here. There you go, because that is their favorite. We should get double plorts from them, which is good. And then I uh, speak of such, there you go, there's plorts right there. And then there's ringtail plorts right here. I guess I just sell. And yeah, at least for right now, I think I'm going to throw the baddie slime Loop, down there. <laughs> he's so cute just flying with his big old smile. Uh, but at least he's going to become like another slime or something like that in the slime sea, right? But anyways, throw up the uh, extra plorts up in there. I think we're good to go now, you guys. Oh yeah, before we leave, someone did say I should make a, what's it called? A refinery link. I guess we could see if we can make a refinery link and put it over in the uh, in the, in the Ember Valley. That'd be really good. So that would be the te a teleporter, I think, technically, or a warp tech. There it is right there. Yeah, I could I could make some. I could make one. I just need a little bit more jelly stone, which I know where to get that. It's just that we didn't have inventory space previously. So if we get that. We could actually empty out our inventory of like, was it uh, silky sand? Uh, what what else did we get uh, in the Ember Valley? If I look at this, should be able to see right. Well, yeah, boom, I, I could put boom plorts in there as well, which is good because we need that for the uh, dash boots right there. Is there anything else? Oh, yeah, we need crystal plorts and then buzz wax. Uh, lava dust, that's what it's called. Yeah, so if we get lava dust, even crystal plorts, uh, buzz wax, all the kind of stuff. Can I make a second uh, warp thing? Okay, I can. Okay, cool. Because earlier, the uh, yeah, the yellow home portal, it only let me craft one of those. So maybe I could put a refinery link in the stranded uh, or the starlight strand, even though there is one like right here. I'm like, that's more of the, uh, the what is it called? The rainbow 
Rainbow Fields, I think it's called. I have it written down in my notes, <laughs> just so I call it the right thing. But yeah, if we have a, uh, a refiring link there, and then another one over here, and then another one over here, that'd make it really convenient. We could empty out our inventory uh, very frequently, you guys. But for right now, uh, since we don't have a teleport all the way over to the Ember Valley just yet, let me just walk all the way over there real quick, and I don't know where we're going to place that thing down, probably somewhere in the middle-ish, just so it's very convenient no matter where we are in the Ember Valley, like somewhere over here, I guess. Yeah, that'd work out pretty well, you guys, so... Uh, and then we have a, yeah, we have a tabby too. We do have a lot of, I guess I could explode that tabby. We do, we do have a lot of chickens here. What is tabby's favorite? Stony hen? Let me just double check in the Slimepedia. I think it is stony hen, right? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. I think we do have a lot of stony hens. So let me check this coop as well as the other coop. Yeah, because we have two coops now, right? And I'll see if we can actually come up with 25 stony hens between the two of those coops. Oh yeah, I have 29 in here. Golly. And, uh, extra hen hens. I guess I could throw the extra hen hens and... All these guys feeders things. There you go. The uh, roosters back down. There you go. And then we even have some extra briar hens too. That's crazy. Oh yeah, I'm heading over to the uh, teleport for the uh, Emperor Valley right now. Yeah, here's Jellystone. We do need that, so let's grab that. Oh, lucky, lucky slime. Feed him. No. Oh man, he fell into the slime. See, I tried to hit him with a couple stony hens. Couldn't do it, man. <laughs> ah, just my luck with the lucky slime, right? Anyways, I guess we'll try and get a few more. Uh... Although we could just use regular uh, hen hens or. Whatever else, we don't need 25 specifically. That's just making it more easy to uh, explode the Tabby Gordo, but at least we got a few uh, Jellystone right there. Another Jellystone right there, which is good. Somewhere over here, I believe, yeah. This is going to be a great place to put that refinery link because it's kind of in the middle of all the... Uh, and yeah, there's a bunch of crazy pink slimes and Tabby slimes and stuff over here. <laughs> Let's see, where's a good... Here you go. Where's a good spot I could put a refinery link? That's like kind of like out in the open that I could easily see and not like lose track of. Oh, yeah, you know what? Up here might be good. Yeah, here we go. So we have a teleporter here, yo, refinery link, install gadget. And right behind us, we have Silky Sand, or uh, Primordy Oil, yeah. Boom, we got a few Primordy Oil right there, awesome. And we just immediately deposit it up inside there, cool. So, let's see, where do I have to go to get that Gordo? Because I think over here, right? Yeah, up there, oh, here we go, that launches us up in the air, which is good. But yeah, up here, is that like sideways like thing, yeah, that. That means the Gordo is like right over there, so let's wait until our stamina gets up to full. We'll glide over there, and then there's the volcano in the background, which means, yeah, that away is where we can find boom slimes, I'm sure. So, uh, we'll do that here in just a bit. Oh, wait, hold on. Is there, a, is there an area down here? What is this? Oh, there's a treasure pod. Cool, I'm glad I know that. What's this going to be? A heart cell. Oh, so now we can get, a uh, 200 health now. Yeah, cool. So we have to go do that at the fabricator. Uh, hopefully by the end of this episode, once we head back home. But there it is. There's the crystal Gordo. We have 25 odd onions for him. And then I think he's going to explode, and that's going to be a geyser that we could use to get up to the, uh, up to that area up there, which don't really have anything last time we are there, right? But maybe there's something there now? I don't know. And one more. Boom! That's perfect. Ah! And then he explodes. Yep, he's a geyser on top. Oh, wait, hold on. That's the honey, or, uh... It's not a honey pot, is it? Yeah, it's just uh, one of those vase things. They gave us a, uh, oh, briar hen. Cool, I'll take that. Then a uh, rooster right there too, cool. And yeah, this does take us up here. Hold on, is there something behind that? That waterfall there? It looked like there might be. Let me wait till my stamina gets up to full. Yeah, a lot of crystal slimes down there as well as those things. Is there something back here? Oh, there is, oh! What is this? This seems like a boom slime cave, you guys. But there's nothing in here. I think. Oh, if I touch that, am I going to take damage? I guess we could test it. Ah, <laughs> I don't know what I expected. I'm like, it, it kind of looks like the, uh, the the dried lava pools that we saw earlier, or last episode. Yeah, see, from this angle, it looks like it's dried or whatever, but you get close to it, it starts glowing like actual lava. <laughs> so I guess this is an incinerator or something, or somewhere you can find fire slimes, I think. Are there fire slimes in this? Uh, because I'm like, there's puddle slimes. I don't see fire slimes in here. Are they in here? Because if they are, I don't see them. But I'm not suctioning any up right now. I do have a uh, crystal slime. Hold on, what if... He's alive inside the lava pool. What? <laughs> He's just jumping around with a big smile on his face. I don't understand any of that at all. But there's nothing in here, supposedly. No, no, no treasure pods? No fire slimes? I don't know what's in here, you guys. Very strange. Huh. Anyways, I guess we'll just head out of here. <laughs> At least, yeah, definitely want to keep looking behind, like, waterfalls like this, because we could find more, uh, cool stuff, but... Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, and then Tappy Gordo's going to be that away. We have plenty of, uh, stony hens and even extra regular hen hens to give them. 
Then if we find a uh, Boom Gordo, we do have plenty of Briar Hens for them, right? So here we go. I don't think we fed him anything last episode, did we? We might have. We might have fed him like a Roostro or something, because I think I had some Roostro. Oh, there you go. Yeah, perfect. He's going to explode right now. Boom! Oh, wait, what in the... Oh, that takes us to this! I thought that was like maybe to another expansion area, like to there, but no! So we kind of have a shortcut now to the Ember Valley. I don't have to walk all the way to here, but I... It's not really that much closer walking from conservatory there. I thought that might have been like like for later, like up to here for another area, but I guess not. I guess you could use it right now. Huh? Let's see what that thing is right there, though. Uh, there you go, slimes and oh man, they're already eating whatever chicken that was that was inside there. Okay, I guess that's not going to be to another island. It just takes us straight to here, which we could use like right at the bat. And there's phosphor. Oh, geez, ferals. Yeah, phosphor ferals inside here. We need to watch out. Well, that's pretty cool. So we have two teleports in both a stranded uh, Starlight Strand over there, as well as the Ember Valley, which is pretty cool, you guys. Not bad. I guess we could just go to our refinery link we placed down, put whatever this thing's called. Deep Brine, we could just put that inside there as well. Yep, there's even more right there. Okay, cool. Uh, these guys go to Slime Sea, because I don't want to accidentally make it to R. <laughs> there you go. We can grab some of this stuff that I always forget the name of, and I called Ion Cubes last episode Radiant Ore. Uh, apparently that's from Subnautica, someone left a comment saying. Uh, but I was pretty sure it was like a green cube thing that we got from Victor Humphrey's lab. It just might not have been called an Ion Cube, it was probably called something else. And it just kind of reminded me from the Ion Cube from Subnautica, but let's just go this way and I suppose we wouldn't. Yeah, once we go that way, that's how we get to the Boom Slime area. Anyway, so this is perfect, you guys. And I don't know how much time we have left in the episode, but uh, hopefully we can still explore at least a bit of that area over there. And maybe even find the map updater thing, that'd be pretty good. There's a bunch of ports over here just out in the open from the- Oh, jeez, no wonder, yeah. When you have a bunch of ports like that, that just means tar time. And thankfully these geysers can replenish my water for the, uh, for the water- Water tank? <laughs> Which is good, because I'm having to kill these Tars three hits to kill them during the night time, right? Yeah, I'm almost out right now, so uh, there you go. Perfect. And then I can actually deposit all the extra pink plorts up inside of this thing, too. And tabby plorts and whatever else I make. Oh, whoops. Eh, I don't think we really need that that bad, right? There you go. Put the radiant ore up inside there. Is there something? Oh, yeah, that was a radiant ore right there. Let's see if we can actually... Oh, I can't... How do I get up there? Up here? I think so. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Hold on. Can I make this jump? And then... There you go. There we go. This is how we get up here. Cool. I don't know what that is. Just another fossil there, like a snail shell or whatever that is. Here we go. Another radiant ore right there. I could use two more of them right there. Anything else on top of this thing? Can I see a uh, any any more primordial oil or silky sand or? I don't see anything at least right now. Hmm. Is there something over here? Oh, there's a treasure pod. Man, I'm glad I'm looking over here, you guys. I wonder how we're doing in treasure pod like progress. Like how many we're missing. Amber Cypress Cluster, what's that going to be? This? Yeah, these trees right here. Cool. So, I think the map... Yeah, we... Okay, we have 5 out of 24 treasure pods here in, I guess, all of Ember Valley. I wonder what it's like over in Starlight Strand. We probably have, like, maybe 15, 20 of them. That'd be really good, you guys. Uh, but anyways, I guess we'll put these Ion Qs... Or, man! I just, and look at all these ports over here. Jeez, yeah, let's get rid of all these uh, tabby and uh, pink ports over here in case we make any more tars accidentally, right? And there you go. Okay, cool. So how, how do you naturally get to that new area without, like, flying randomly? Do you just, I guess, ride these geysers? Oh, jeez, there you go. Oh, can I make that? Oh, I can. And then we have heartbeats here. Is there anything? Oh, is that a treasure pot or radiant ore? It is. I guess we can grab it. I'm like, if I need inventory back, I'll probably uh, drop this for uh, boom slimes. Oh, man, there's a lot of... Jeez. More radiant ore here. I just saw another one in the corner of my eye. I might as well drop it off in that uh, refinery like that we have, like, right here, right? There you go. Yeah, we got eight of them right there. Golly. I don't know if we need that for anything, but at least I grabbed it. And might as well deposit it while I'm here. All right, let's wait for this guy. Oh, there you go. Guys are just launching me up here, which is good. Is this going to take me to a new area? Yes. Okay, those are angular uh, whatevers. Is this? Oh, yeah, we were here when we were uh, initially exploring the area. Yeah, I remember. And we like, st yeah, because there's a treasure pod right there that we opened. Yeah. And down there's angler something. Angler pink. Phosphor rock over there. More anglers down there, just hanging out. More radiant ore up there. Oh wow, look at this. Yeah, didn't didn't we see this last time? This really cool little like pool area here. Other waterfalls or anything behind that? I think that's slime sea. We need to be careful around that. I guess we can grab the radiant ore again. Golly, there's just so much of it over here. It's crazy. Well, look at this picture. All the angler and phosphor and even like the whatever plant that is in the water there. What what is this? This is a poker fruit tree. Oh geez, tar. 
Well, if there's a tar here, it should die because it's water, right? Yeah, I can hear tar music right now, but I don't know where they're actually at. But uh, there's a the guys right here we could ride. I suppose we could ride to see where it takes us, right? There's another poke fruit tree right there. Just takes us up to here. Cool. Oh, wait, hold on. There is something behind this waterfall. What is this? Is this going to be a boom slime cave? Hopefully so. If so, hopefully we can get a pretty good amount of them to take home. Make some Largos. Mint more of this radiant ore, golly. At least I'm remembering what it's called, right? <laughs> there you go. I guess the game is just like, he doesn't know what it's heckin' called. Might as well just spawn in a bunch of it. So he has, he's like forced to figure out what it's called, right? But, uh, oh, another diamond! Man, I've got like no inventory. Am I getting that? Yeah, there you go, strange diamond, golly. Food type none, it said. <laughs> That's crazy. I guess it's going, yeah, it's going to take us up to a higher area here, so let's uh, ride this. I don't have any more inventory, so if we need to get a boom slime, I guess I'll get rid of the chickens or something. Hold on, where does this other area go? Let's go to, oh, no, two strange diamonds. Are you kidding me? And there's still a strange diamond in Starlight Strand I need to get from like three, four episodes ago, you guys said. So hopefully that's still there, right? It's probably despawned by now. It's, it's been a while. But let's go uh, up here, see if this is... Oh man, whoa, with a lot of primordial oil right there. I guess we're going to get rid of the uh, hen hens. There's tars down there. Oh wait, is that the area we're just at a second ago? Yeah, it is, because this is the top of the waterfall. Yeah, so we're getting, at least we're getting primordial oil right here and a pretty good amount of it. So we need to get, what's it called? Lava dust. That's another, uh, another resource. Oh, and a treasure pod right there. Cool. Let's grab those. There you go. Let's see what's inside of the treasure pod. We might need to go back to that refinery link like right now. Our inventory's full. Oh, a vac tank upgrade. So we, hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, F1 to visit the, uh, thing. Oh, it just shows us the fabricator right there. Man, I thought it was going to show me the recipe I need to get the, uh, the next upgrade, but I guess not. Man, yeah, my inventory is completely full. There's a tar or two down there. I might as well grab this radiant ore right here and then just head back to that refinery link again. But yeah, that was, that was such a good idea. Whoever left that comment last episode to get the refinery link. Or I think there's another one. Yep. Or, uh, the Ember Valley over here. Yeah, at least we could empty out our inventory a lot easier than going all the way back home, right? So, uh, let me go do that real quick. Oh, man, there's even Silky Sand here, too. Golly. All right, so here's some Silky Sand that I just saw a second ago. We might as well grab that. There you go. I didn't have inventory for it earlier, but now we do. And, ooh. Oh, another. Jeez, I'm finding treasure pots like crazy, you guys. I'm like, it makes sense. We haven't really explored the Ember Valley much, so. Makes sense there's a bunch of treasure pots. We have a gnarled Ashwood. What is that going to be? Is that a best probably above me? see where that's going to be oh wow wow look at the sky like all these clouds are like orbiting around that volcano i think yeah i don't know where this like whatever it's called gnarled ash i don't know where that is uh but anyways i guess we'll keep going up and keep going this way yeah this way perfect well, i guess if anything tars will be a little bit easier during the daytime so that's good uh, so if we come across any we can just hit them with one thing of water and then boom they're dead right but uh man i couldn't ride that guys or i need to wait and we'll go up there. We, we still have plenty of briar hens. I don't know if we're actually going to come across the Gordo yet, you guys. I just need to continue waiting. See if there's uh, any more treasure pods. Which, by the way, we're up to 7 out of 24. So we're about uh, a little bit under third the way there, you guys. Just one more and we're at third. There's another, uh... There's nothing. I'm like, we're getting a lot of elevation here, so... Oh, here we go, a cave. This is perfect. This is where uh, Boom Slimes hang out inside of caves. I think... I don't know, they might be able to be outside of caves, too. I, I'm pretty sure they have only ever seen them inside of caves, though, right? There's nothing there. This is an actual cave, or is it just going to lead out to another area? Oh, here we go. Hold on. Pomegranates right there. Tar just spawning out in the open. Here we go. Yeah, it's daytime right now, so uh, there you go. Getting killed. Oh, man, there's a uh, research drone right there, and Tar is over there, too. Hold on. And more uh, radiant ore. almost called it an ion cube again. <laughs> Hold on. Let's kill these uh, tars. I don't know what that is down there. Is that, is that water? What is that? I guess that's good. Oh, I see a tar. I see a, uh, well, yeah, I see tars too. <laughs> but I see a uh, boom slime in the background, you guys. There we go. At least it's one hit during the daytime, which is good. But yeah, there's explain. Here we go. Boom slimes. Boom. Grabbed them. Careful. These slimes have been known to explode. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of this boom slime. Or uh, tar right there. Let's grab the boom slime and save them. I don't know. Let's get like 10 of them, I'd say. Crystal boom largo right there. Yeah, that's what you guys commented last episode. So we may end up doing that, you guys. More tar. Man, why are there so many tars? I've only seen two tars. Well, then again, crystal boom and baddie. Because we saw the pomegranates, right? 
So hold on, is there a uh, Gordo around here? This is a perfect place to buy. Another di three strange. Oh gosh, I just I just realized that while I was di while I was jumping right there. That's got to be lava dust right there, huh? But uh, there's another strange diamond right there. Is there any uh? Golly, this is a batty Gordo. Wait, where are they? Oh, I don't have. Oh, I'm like, we can get pomegranates. We just saw a pomegranate tree a minute ago. Let's grab that. There you go. Uh, and then, what is this? Is this lava dust or is that primordial oil? It is lava dust. A survey on the state of this matter answered undecided. Yeah, they don't know if it's a solid or a liquid or what. Does it go from liquid if it's super hot to a solid if it cools down? Wait, hold on. Where does this go? Does this lead to the other uh, Gordo? Well, yeah, where is this? We're outside now. We're in a... Those ferals... Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, we need to, we need to find that map updater thing. So we're back outside. There's the volcano up there, I think. Oh, there's that cylinder that's on its side. I like how that's like a landmark. We can figure out where. Wait, hold on. Where's this go? Tabbies. Oh wait, yeah. There's a show. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, we could drop off a bunch of stuff out of our inventory right now. I didn't even notice there was a pathway like straight to the boom area there, you guys. Cool. Strange diamond, lava dust. Cool. So we have six boom slimes right now, which is awesome. Let's keep heading. Let's fill up on water too. Man, fill up on water uh, whenever this geyser goes. There we go. And now we're up to full water. So we can take on Tars again. Just one hit during the daytime, which is good. But yeah, this away takes us to that cave where the baddie Gordo was. Did it? Did it? Well, it didn't mark it on the map because I don't have the map revealer right now. Let's keep exploring around. Maybe we'll come across it. Is that Tabby? Tabby? Boom? Ta yeah, ta Boom Tabby. Jeez, it looks crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's going to be a good uh, suggestion for our Largo, huh? Boom Tabby, but then again, we already have Tabby Phosphor, so. Man, look at those guys, and they're feral too, so they look even, oh, jeez. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Is that lava down there, or is that cooled uh, lava that I could stand? Oh man, more lava dust over there. And a uh, uh, geyser right there too. And more uh, primordial oil? Yeah, primordial oil, because I think the lava dust is just, yeah, like that, whereas like sparks coming out of it. Okay, I can stand on this, that's good. <laughs> Man, my inventory is going to get full again, but at least we're uh, somewhat close to the, to the refiring link, right? Let's keep going around. Is that more? Yeah, more uh, lava dust right there. Perfect. Yeah, we needed lava dust for something, some sort of upgrade. So at least we're grabbing it, right? And a pretty good amount of it. We're kind of close to the refiring link right now. So I don't know. Do I want to go all the way back there already? Maybe. That's safe. <sighs> okay, it is. <laughs> you just never know, right? But uh, here we go. And we can kind of staircase our way up slowly. So we go up here, and then I can go up to there, and then... I bet the Gordo's like that away, huh? So it's, uh, there you go, basically full stamina. Perfect. Okay, cool. Speaking of cool, at least there's a lot of cooled lava over here I can stand on top of. But there's like a, like a bunch of tree. Oh, wait, hold on. <gasps> We're coming across briar hens. This is good. The game is basically saying, hey, here's the perfect food for the boom slimes. And fire slimes, fire slimes right there too. Here we go, fire slimes. Like a little campfire, except that it moves and it's also a slime. <laughs> And I like how the, the screen, like, there's nothing wrong with you guys, like, device that you're watching this on. Like, this screen naturally looks, like, blurry because it's, like, the heat waves or whatever that is, right? Crystal slimes down there, boom slimes, more lava dust down there. It's hard to tell with that, like, blur heat wave effect, though. Man, yeah, look at that. More lava dust there. More lava dust there in the background. Man, there's a lot of it here, which I'm, like, I'm not complaining about. We need that stuff. And I think this is active hot lava, so let's definitely stay away from that. This stuff right here that I'm, yeah, this is this is safe to stand on top of though. Eleven lava dust in our inventory right now, you guys. It's crazy. More boom slimes right here. Yeah, let's, let's get about ten. I always seem to get about ten ish. So let's grab them. And by the way, you can't make a uh, a largo out of fire and puddle slimes. So we, it's not like we can make a boom fire, unfortunately. Uh, except with mods. I, actually, I don't think. I don't know if we had a mod that uh, let us do anything with puddle like. Largos in the in our modded series, did we? I don't know if they're, oh, here's the map updater and a uh, ringtail statue. <laughs> Hold on, this is perfect. So now we have. Oh wow, we're really deep back over here, you guys. And the volcano looks like it's like right. Oh wow, it's like. Oh, is that the Gordo? There he is. It's like a it's like a big doorway into a. I bet that volcano is going to be its whole area like later in the earth. Oh, almost landing in a pool of lava right there. Which speaking of such, more fire slides right here. There you go. I think we have six uh, puddle slimes, so we have seven fire slimes right now, so we actually have more fire slimes than we have puddle, which is cool. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, maybe we'll uh, put a bunch of these fire slimes in the uh, in the tide pools area that we unlocked last episode, just so all the puddle and... Wait, hold on, there's an actual area behind them, though. 
Or I, I bet it's like filled, like 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 they're going to like like a bunch of stuff is blocking whatever this is. But let's give him a bunch of briar hens. We actually have two extra. And look at how much bigger he is. Now I can't even see behind him because how much bigger the Goro's gotten. And there you go. Now he's going to explode. Let's get rid of the extra briar hens. Oh, I guess I could have fed him. Yeah, man, where do they go? Here you are. I guess I could feed him to the boom slimes, get some of the plorts, double plorts. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, it's just, oh, it's just a decoration. <laughs> that was kind of weird, but we have a bunch of booms. Whoops, man. There you go. Okay, there. Oh, man, two tre What the? Two treasure pods right there? Like, next to each other? Is that on purpose? At least we got a couple, uh... Oh, jeez, yeah, you need to watch out wherever they explode like that. <laughs> oh, I guess I could soak up a few more. There. there we go. So we have ten of these guys with ten puddle slimes. We have two treasure pods next to each other. Oh my gosh, a strange man! Ah, I guess we can't carry their plorts. So what is this? Is this going to be like a, an actual, like like a recipe? Yeah, Ember Valley portal, perfect. Okay, cool. So we actually got a random strange diamond right there. More research drone. Little little wheelbarrow right there too. <laughs> cool. So it's just like that cave underneath the uh, the, the flutter largo. And yeah, just like I suspected, it's like blocked off right there. So I bet whenever uh, early access is done, they probably have some sort of storyline of like how to unlock that big door that's like blocking this area, huh? I know, let's see what the research drone has to say and we'll probably head home and end off the episode. Access in gg.log. This gate is still sealed too. So I really must have been the first to enter since it was abandoned. Ooh, abandoned by whom? It was here that I had my first doubts. I thought I was talking to engineers, problem solvers, people who could fix what I found. But once we left the labyrinth and met up here, I saw they were smiling. They were excited at the sight of opportunity. The company had sent their money people, not engineers. I don't think they had even considered stabilization. It wasn't long before it all collapsed. Ooh. I guess that's a good story thing to kind of explain why everything's sealed off, right? But yeah, I, I saw another research drone earlier. I want to figure out where that is and uh, on our way back. Is there anything else in here? Another uh, treasure pod in here? No. Yeah, it's just that one research drone, like two treasure pods, and right, like right next to each other, which is crazy. Which, by the way, we're up to nine out of twenty-four right now. That's crazy. And one of these things here. Whoops, man! How did not explode right there? Let's grab up. Q berries, another tappy slime. Well, at least the tappy. Oh yeah, the tappy doesn't. Eat. He steals Q berries. He doesn't eat them. Uh, but yeah, that's like the entrance into the volcano itself, and the volcano's like right there with lava like leaking down and clouds and stuff orbiting around the volcano. It looks really cool here, you guys. Speaking of cool, let's stay on the cooled lava here. And yeah, the crystal signs are in the lava itself, like we saw earlier. It seems like that's fine for them. They don't actually get damaged by that. But anything else around here, though, that I can actually interact with? Any more lava lava dust things that I can get lava dust out of? I don't know. And where's that research drone that I saw? Um, I don't think it's up there. I don't know where it was. I don't know. And there's like a whole area over there too, by the way. Golly, there's so much to explore here, you guys. Next episode, we need to just explore this area more. Because I know like the first half of this episode, we're doing a bunch of stuff like experimenting around with Larios again. But we need to just explore. Oh man, another ringtail uh, statue over there. And look at all this, and more lava dust down there too. Golly. Oh, treasure pod, right? Man! How many treasure pods did I find this episode? This is crazy. Tall magma clump. <laughs> what is that? I guess just a, a, a magma like geyser that slowly cools and now it's just a big tower huh interesting so let's go down here oh and there's a radiant ore right there too and yeah i need to figure out where that where, where's that other strange diamond i saw or did i not have a, another treasure pod back there golly that's crazy what do we have 11 now what's this gonna be is this an actual item or something sometimes treasure a magma pool oh wait hold on Hot, relaxing soak in the magma pool if you're a fire slime. Yeah, isn't that the, we don't need we need the incinerator for the fire. And by the way, golly, if like four of them spawned right there. <laughs> There's a bunch of lava leaking out right there, too. Oh, yeah. So here, here are like the cooled lava pillars or whatever that we just unlocked, which is cool. Oh, there is a research drone right there. I don't know if it's the same one I uh, was referring to just a minute ago, but let's go this way. Let's see what this guy is saying. We'll probably head home. I actually probably go back to that uh, refinery link, drop off a bunch of lava dust, 17, as well as a little bit of primordial oil. There you go, access in GG. Probably should have read this guy before the uh, one that was inside of the volcano, right? Anyways, access in GG.log. I never managed to conclude if the prisma waves caused all this lava to erupt to the surface, but I believe it did. The rainbow grass and iridescent rocks, all lovely to see, and the ecosystem seems to coexist with it to some degree, but this lava, this is the breaking point. My guess is that it started as it always does. It creeps up a few degrees over the years and you hardly notice, and then one day you realize you're cooking. <laughs> uh, I wish I had a dog to pet right now. 
<laughs> oh, that'd be so cute if they had dogs in this game, but I guess you're forced to pet slimes and stuff, right? I know, is there anything else around here, though? Oh, there's like a gateway or something up there, looks like. And then, yeah, speaking of gateway, we do have that teleport for the, uh, for, for this area, the Ember uh, Valley, which thankfully I'm starting to remember what that's called. I just can't remember. Oh, man, another, is that another treasure pot or? Wait, what is that? I can't tell what that is with, like, the heat waves, like, making the air, like, bend light or whatever the technical stuff of that is. Oh, it's just a pink port that was next to a carrot. I was wondering what that was. It didn't look like anything I saw previously. Tabby slimes there, pink slimes here. We haven't been here. Where is this? Oh, wow. This is like its own area over here. Huh. Cool. And then, yeah, there's like an ancient ruin over there, too, which we explored a while ago. I don't know if there's anything actually there. Any Gordos there. And then here's that cave we're in with the uh, the baddie Gordo, but it didn't it didn't like bookmark where he was because we didn't have the map revealer uh, just yet. So that kind of sucks. So maybe next episode we can go inside there with a bunch of Homa Granis and we could explode that guy. That'd be really cool, you guys. Wait, hold on. Another treasure. Golly. Wait, where is this at? Yeah, where is this? This isn't where our uh, refinery link is, but there's another treasure pot right there. Got late. Are we at like the halfway point right now? Like meat slime bait? This special slime bait can be used to harmlessly attract meat eating slimes. Huh? So can I just pick that up and place it back down and pick it up and place it? I wonder when we'd actually use it. Oh, wow. Yeah, it does bookmark where our refinery link is. So that's good. We're actually kind of close to the beginning. So uh, maybe we'll go. There's the uh, Starlight Strand over there with a split thing in the middle, which is pretty cool. But I think over here is our refinery link, right? Yeah. I can drop off a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Let's go do that. So we have an... Oh, wait. No, that's the research drone. <laughs> Let's go over here. Let's place it off over here. There you go. Primordial oil. We got another diamond right there. And a bunch of lava dust. We need to get a uh, boom plorts as well as a... Uh, I don't know if we need fire plorts for any sort of recipe. Uh, but once we get back home, we can probably give a bunch of uh, extra chickens to the boom slimes to get some of their plorts and use that for crafting, whatever that was, right? But yeah, I guess we could actually... Let's, let's go take the, uh, the tabby gordo teleport back home. That's going to be, I'm like, it's going to take us like right next to the conservatory. Oh, whoa. <laughs> it's going to take us like right next to the conservatory. And is that enough? Jeez. And radio right there too, man. Someone's definitely got to comment how many of these I found this episode. Amber Cypress. So not only did we find the, uh, I thought I heard like a lucky slime right there too, by the way, I guess not. Or maybe, oh, it's the sound that, the, yeah, these things make a slight noise. Oh, wow. That almost like fell off the map. <laughs> Yeah, those things that make a, make a slight noise so they uh, kind of get your attention, right? So that's good. But yeah, I think now we have like a cluster of amber cypress as well as like just a singular amber cypress that we could use for decorations. I, I guess that's one thing. Like if we have a bunch of like ports and other random resources left over, we could use that to craft uh, random decorations for our conservatory, right? But for right now, let me just head back to that Tabby Gordo teleport. So let's go through the uh, Tabby Gordo teleporter, which takes us almost back to the conservatory. And we need to be... Oh, that's not ready yet, man. We need to be careful because there are ferals here. The world was oh, another feral up there. Okay, well, yeah, let's just go this way. We do have a uh, boom slimes in our inventory. I don't know where I'm going to put them temporarily. Maybe I'll suction up those uh, crystal slimes and then we can put some boom slimes in there at least temporarily so we can get some of their plorts. Yeah, right here. Okay, let me let me grab some of these chickens over here. Some of the extra ones we could use for uh, feeding to the boom slimes. There you go. I guess I'll feed the uh, the sea hens to these angler slimes because they love the sea hen. I can get double plorts from them, which will be good. As well as I need to do a lot of just general care for all my slimes. We've been gone a while. Uh, let's grab all the crystal slimes inside of here. We do have a uh, food for them, I believe, right? And I need to be, yeah, I need to be careful. I'm getting poked by all their uh, crystals. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, we got six of them, I guess, huh? I thought I got ten. I usually get ten, but maybe, uh, yeah, we got ten, uh, plorts right there, which is good. So, uh, let me wait until all the crystals go away and we can place down the boom slimes, give them a bunch of chickens. Yeah, they don't even get damaged by the, uh, the crystal spikes, so I guess that's good. We can just feed them a bunch of chickens. No, uh, briar hens, unfortunately, because I basically emptied out my briar hen supply just to feed that Gordo before he left. But there you go. A bunch of chickens for them. <laughs> Probably way too many, honestly. Golly, there you go. <laughs> They're exploding, too. I need to be careful of that, too. <laughs> there you go. Get 10 uh, plorts right there in front of them. Not bad. And of course, I, I can go get some uh, incinerators for the uh, fire slimes as well. But uh, I don't think they're eating any more chickens right now. I think they're all well fed. Yeah, they're not eating right now. Man. Uh, I guess I guess maybe next episode we can get more plorts because I don't think 10 is enough to get whatever we're uh, saving up for. Uh, oh, and there's a random chicken right there. Nope, you're not escaping. You're getting fed to these tabby uh, phosphor largas over there. 
<laughs> Anyways, I guess we'll go drop off the uh, crystal and boom plorts that we have in our inventory. See if we can craft anything out of that as well as all that lava dust that we uh, got earlier too. And then next episode, we can get that incinerator and we'll probably figure out what we're going to do with the crystal slimes. Like, are we actually going to make crystal boom largos or are we going to make another type of largo? Definitely let me know those comments down below and I'll read them and be sure to thumbs up any comments you guys really like. That way I know which ones are very popular amongst you guys as always, right? But for right now, we do have... Oh, I need buzzwax for this thing, though. Yeah, we have plenty of lava dust to do that. I just need to get the buzzwax, so maybe I'll go to Starlight Strain. Maybe off-camera next episode, before I start next episode. Uh, then we'll be able to make the tank guard, and if we die, we can keep 20% uh, of the items that we have in our inventory, right? And we can make the heart module so if I get one more jelly stone, so maybe I'll go to the uh, Rainbow Fields. Maybe I'll go there and get some more uh, jelly stone. But uh, other than that... Oh, extra tank too. Oh, I need to get more rock. Oh, we might be able to get that right now. Hold on. Because we have a uh, rock hunter Largos like right around the corner. Hold on. Right here. Yeah, right here. Wait, hold on. Wait, what happened? Oh, I was about to say like what happened to all of them. But no, yeah, they're invisible right now. And their plorts are just sitting there because yeah, their, their plort collector is completely full. <laughs> oh, geez. One of these cotton pink Largos escaped. Man. Oh, yeah. Their internet is on fire right now. Golly, yeah. Hold on, let's get a bunch of, uh... Jeez, we have a lot of water here. 34? What the... 37? I can't even carry all these. Yeah, look at that. I can't even carry all those, man. Yeah, let's feed all these guys. Yeah, their auto feeder is completely empty right now. Man, yeah, I was gone a while. And I made sure to feed all these guys and put stuff in their auto feeder before we left. Well, I guess we're just adventuring for that long, huh? Man, that is crazy. And of course, yep, they're a uh, port collector. Uh... Oh, wait, no, it's not completely full. Oh, it's going to be full. Here, yep, 100. 100 there, too. Jeez, yep. And yeah, let, let me go downstairs. Let me go donate all these rock plorts in here. And we could actually get that upgrade for our vac, vac pack. And we could hold, I think, 50 items instead of just 40. That's going to help out a ton with taking care of all those completely full uh, plort collectors, right? Uh, it doesn't say, so I guess we'll do it. Yeah, ringtail plorts, strange diamonds. Man, you need two of those. I have five. That's crazy. Boom, there you go. So how much can we hold now? Oh, wait, no, it gives you an extra uh, thing in the hot bar. Cool. I, I, that's helpful, too. Oh, I need a tank booster. I don't have the uh, the next tank booster, unfortunately, but it looks like you can unlock one right there because that one's not filled out just yet. Uh, water tank, tank guard. Well, that's that's still going to help out a ton. So now we actually have six inventory slots and a uh, water tank right there. So that's actually pretty good, you guys. It's going to help out a ton with taking care of these crops and stuff over here. Yeah, look at all these uh, carrots right here, those heartbeats back there. More, even more water less finished up back there, too. Golly. <laughs> So I might as well actually do all this busy work uh, taking care of our slimes while I'm doing the outro. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Slime Rancher 2 in Early Access comes out so you don't miss it. And be sure to leave any comments like, what, what do you guys think I should do with the crystal and boom slimes? And be sure to thumbs up any comment suggestions you guys think are good, that way I know which ones are very popular amongst you guys. In the next episode, I'll go through you guys' comments and suggestions, I'll look at how many likes they have, and we'll figure out what Largos we're going to make out of those crystal and boom slimes. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Slime Rancher 2 in Early Access. Oh, bye there.